past two decades, both opioid usage and opioid-related overdoses have been rapidly increasing in frequency. Since the year 2000, the rate of fatal drug overdoses has more than quadrupled. When an overdose occurs, the user will experience an abnormal or decreased heart rate, decreased breathing rate, and decreased blood oxygen saturation. This typically renders the user unconscious and they cannot call for help. This inability to call for help proves fatal for many users. Approximately 81% of fatal overdoses, so more than four out of every five, occur when the user is both alone and indoors. Narcan can be used to reverse the effects of an overdose, but the caveat to using Narcan is that it must be administered within the first five to six minutes of the overdose occurring. Therefore, if the user is both alone and indoors, they have no way to call for somebody to administer that Narcan to them. Our team has designed a device that will detect an overdose and alert emergency responders. This device would be targeted to opioid users that are interested in harm reduction. We wanted this device to be comfortable for the user for both wear and use. It's important that the user not see this device as a hindrance and forego wearing it when using opioids. The user would place the device on their wrist and turn it on. The device will then start monitoring the user's physiological signals and when they fall below a normal range, the device will send the user an alert. If the user does not respond, then the device will send the user's location to friends nearby and the emergency responders so that they can administer the Narcan if necessary. Our device, although not yet assembled in a risk worn module, will monitor the user's peripheral blood oxygen saturation continually. During the first use, the user would log on to the system and input their name, age, height, weight, and gender. Then, the user will put on the watch, or in this case, hold the pulse oximeter and then press the power button. The PPG data is potted and stored on the desktop computer. From a PPG data, the computer is able to implement a Fourier transform to derive the user's heart rate, respiratory rate, and SpO2. The computer constantly compares these measurements to a baseline, and if the vital signs dip below a critical threshold, an overdose is indicated. The vibration motor will run, a tone will play on the speaker, and the LCD screen will prompt, are you okay? And an LED will light up on the lab view side. If the user does not respond within 10 seconds, a GPS fix will be obtained, and the user's GPS location will be printed to lab view. In the future, the device will be able to contact nearby friends and emergency responders for help through a connection with the user's cell phone so they may, they may receive immediate life-saving attention. Our device integrates several components, including a GPS unit, reflectant pulse oximeter, Arduino, lab view user interface, LCD screen, and more. And potentially most unique about our device is how we derive respiratory rate. In order to get respiratory rate, we want to use a device that is mil minimally intrusive for maximal comfort of the user. Thus, we use a pulse oximeter and derive respiratory rate from PPG signal using a fast Fourier transform. There are two major contributors to the fluctuation of PPG signal, a periodic pulse influence and a periodic respiratory influence. If we take a fast Fourier transform of the PPG signal, we expect two major peaks in the power spectrum. The frequency of the peak represents the respiratory rate and heart rate. The integration of the components of our device is accomplished through serial communication between Arduino and LabVIEW. The Arduino device sends PPG data to LabVIEW, and LabVIEW determines the user's status based on the derived respiratory rate and heart rate. If an overdose is detected, a message will be sent over serial port, so both LabVIEW and Arduino enter alert mode. We are able to transmit several different types of data on the same serial port through pattern recognition of certain headers, including heart rate, blood oxygenatory data, real-time PPG signal, and GPS location. Ultimately, our HERO device will be distributed to communities in need for users to wear in hopes of decreasing the number of fatal overdoses. This will give the user an opportunity to seek treatment and hopefully recover from their addiction. There is still much to be done in the fight against overdoses, but we hope that HERO will increase an individual's odds for winning that fight.